Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. And I'm back again with another inspirational and empowering video. I am here to empower you. I am here to let you know that it's possible on Mama Africa. But I'm kind of sad because today is my last day in this beautiful country, Kenya. But this is not going to be my last time of coming here because I feel like Kenya is now my second home. Thank you so much for the love and support. Thank you so much for being part of this awesome family. Thank you so much for being part of my journey. Like I said, I am on a journey to change the narratives of Africa. I am on a journey to celebrate African excellence. And where I am right now is Riata Service Apartment. And I wanna say thank you so much to the owner of this beautiful apartment and hotel here in Nairobi, Kenya. You know what she told me? What am I? I love you so much and I'm giving you this apartment for free for two good weeks. So my time in Kenya, I spent all my time in Kenya in here. So if Reactor Service Apartment has done this for me, you know how we do it. It's by force for each and every one of you to book a room at Reactor Service Apartment. You know it, please. Just for the love that the owner of this beautiful apartment show, Wadamaya, let's reciprocate this love. I mean, it's by force for each and every one of you. If you are living in Kenya and you're looking for a place to spend a night or two night, three night, book reactor service apartment. Even if you are not in Kenya, but you are coming to Kenya to spend holidays, make sure you book apartment with them and tell them that Wadamaya told me to come and spend time in here. If you are watching this video and you've not liked the video, what are you waiting for? Please like the video. It's by force to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe and be part of this awesome family. Let's hit 600,000 subscribers. 5,000 more to go. I know and believe that we can do it. You know what? I always do it. I cannot just tell you about this apartment without showing you who owns this property. Come with me. Let me go talk to the owner. Subscribe. Like and be part of this awesome family. Aya Maya. I can't believe I'm sitting down with the director of Riata Service Apartment Hotel. Everyone is telling me that before I, I leave Nairobi, I need to meet up with you. It's an honor to see you. Um, thank you, thank you, Wadi. Should I, should I introduce myself? Yes, please. My name is Wadi Maya from Ghana, and uh, you have to tell me your name because a lot of people watching us don't know who you are. Tell me your name and where you from. Um, my name is Modoni Kuria. I'm from Kenya. Okay. I was born in Meru, but I live in Nairobi. You're not born in Nairobi? No. What brought you to Nairobi? Well, school and work. came to Nairobi to school and you decided not to go back again? Well, as you will find out, a lot of Kenyans mm. have a rural home, but mostly they live in the cities. Whoa. So that's where they work. So, so you lived in Nairobi all your life? Yes. My husband is from Nairobi as well, so okay. yes. So basically, Nairobi is our home now. So you you work in Nairobi, right? Now. Yes. I just want to know what you've done is really incredible because somebody told me that you own this apartment. Yes. I'm like, is it a man or a woman? Yeah. I was like, That's a woman. I was like, oh my god, I want to meet up and talk to you. I mean, I just want to know, did you ever live Nairobi abroad? Did you stay in abroad, or you're just based in Nairobi? Well, I've lived in uh, Bristol, UK, okay. for a few years. Hmm. I was in school there and I also worked. So, but that was a while back. That was in the 80s, late 80s. Late yeah? 80s. Yes. So what job were you doing in Nairobi? In, well, I'm an accountant by profession. Oh, wow. um, I, I've worked mostly in Nairobi and uh, that short stint in the UK, hmm. but mostly Nairobi. And I want to know, yeah? yeah, because I'm talking about this apartment. What uh -huh. really inspired you to build this in here? Okay, how we got into this, mm. my husband is also a professional accountant. Okay. So, late, uh, no, the year 2001, we were looking for a commercial property to invest in. Mm. And this, um, this property was available for sale. It had been in the market for a couple of years and there were no takers. So, we decided to take uh, the plunge, go for it, because we were looking for an investment that would give us an income, 
Mm. And with property, you get uh, the benefit of capital gains. So we were very clear we wanted to invest in a commercial property that would uh, generate income at the same time gaining um, in value. So which means that you guys wanted to, this is like a retirement plan or you're working as an accountant and you're still investing in apartment? We're working. That time we're both working. But okay. this, we're looking at long term because eventually you retire, then what do you do? So we're looking at something that we could um, earn from, sort mm. of like a pension. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so that's how we got into it. But we're very clear, we didn't want to invest in a single dwelling uh, mm. property. Uh, we already had a home, so we figured the best thing is to get into commercial space. I just want to know, is this the only property that you own in here? You have others in Nairobi? We have others, but this was the really the seed. This is what helped us now uh, invest in other properties. When we acquired this in 2002, mm. it was run down. So we spent uh, some money just uh, sprucing it up. It was run as serviced apartments. Okay. And uh, we had to borrow heavily. You know, there are people who don't believe in borrowing, but as accountants, we believe in borrowing. Okay. So, so because you to start we had yes we had our deposit mm. but we borrowed the balance so what happened is uh, within six months to a year the property was able to because once we spruced it up cleaned it up we were able to increase the the rentals that the previous owners were getting we were able to double that mm. now from that the property was able to clear the loans and there was excess. So from that, we were able to purchase other properties because we're still both earning. Oh. So the money that we got from here, we invested in other properties. We have so many young women out there yeah. who will be inspired to be just like you. Yeah. Do you think that is worth it to invest in real estate? Because this is like part of real estate business, yeah? It is, it is. But for us, we're very clear because we're in uh, very demanding careers. We didn't want uh, a side hustle that was going to take time from our jobs. So we wanted something that, uh, you know, could you, you could get a good manager and they would run it and uh, we're comfortable with the manager we had. So we didn't, it didn't really take time from our, our, our jobs or careers. So if you're in employment mm. and you want uh, an easy a side hustle, I would say property is is a good option property is a good option yes but i just want to know yeah what yes. makes reactor service apartment and hotel so unique now what happened when we bought the property and spruced it up we're running it as serviced apartments mm. in 2009 i left my job and uh, decided to we closed it we closed the place and did a full makeover a full renovation and uh, because at that time there were very few serviced apartments in Nairobi, mm -hmm. I decided uh, we did some research and figured out that if we changed our model, we were going to be above the rest. Mm -hmm. So what we did, is we decided to convert to an apartment hotel. And the difference between an apartment hotel and serviced apartments is we offer all the other services that a hotel would offer its mm. clients. That is, let's say, 24-hour reception, uh, restaurants, gyms, daily service, maid service in the rooms, turn-up service. So, so we offer all those um, services that you would get in a hotel. Serviced apartments, basically, they, you get um, the apartment, um, you, you don't have uh, access to a restaurant, you have to do all your cooking, mm. But with Riata Apartment Hotel now, you can choose to either cook for yourself or you can choose to eat from the restaurant, you can have room service. Basically what we are is a hotel suite, okay? It's because you get all the services you'd get in a hotel, but you have the benefit of bigger space because you have the, the living room, the living area, the bedroom, a fully equipped kitchen, and your bathroom. It's a profit hub. Is it profitable? Yeah. It's okay. We, we are not complaining. Because I, I'm thinking of buying one of these in Nairobi. Yeah, okay. Maybe you need to help me find a manager. No uh, problem. <laughs> <laughs> we can help. We can help for sure. You know, you were telling me that you have other properties apart yes. from this one. Yes. 
I'm so sorry. I really want to know, yeah? yeah. So which means that the income that you made from this one, yes. that's where you, you managed to purchase the other ones. Yes. Or you started that one, did you start from the scratch or you, also you bought like this one and renovated it? Um, the other property mm -hmm. is, uh, one of the other properties we've invested in is NABO Residences. Now, NABO, uh, being immediate neighbor to Riata, mm. um, was very easy was a very easy decision for us to make in terms of acquiring. When the owner decided to sell, he approached us and um, he told us he was, he was looking for a buyer. He, was, he, he wanted to get out of that business and do mm. something else. So he offered us that property for, um, for us to buy. Now what we did, because uh, we didn't have all the money at that time, yeah. so we agreed that we would pay him a deposit and then we got into a lease for a year. So we leased for a year, so we continued paying him what he was earning, and the agreement we signed allowed us to start renovations. Hmm. So we started renovating, and uh, that gave us time to now engage banks to finance us for the difference. Had, we, had he insisted on us paying for the full amount immediately, it would have been difficult. difficult. Yes, so that was, um, it was because we were good neighbors, he agreed. Once we made that proposal, he was he was fine with it. So you just have to be innovative in how you approach these things. And you did all this in Africa. Yes. But a lot of Africans are saying it's impossible. To do what? To establish yourself like what you've done in Africa. Yes. A lot of them that are saying it's impossible, but you have done it. That's yeah. why I wanted to speak to you. Oh, you can do it. You I mean, can, can do it. Can, can you tell them that it's possible in Africa? because? Some of them watching us right now don't get it like we can do everything in Africa. In Africa, everything is possible. Oh, it's possible. Anything you can do anywhere in the world, it's doable in Africa. Do you believe that Africa is the future? It is, definitely. It is the future. What makes Africa the future? Oh, Africa, there's so much. There's natural resources that are not uh, exploited. We have a very young population. That is capital right there. Our wealth is our people, our young people. And our wealth is our young people. Yes. Which means that you know that there's so many young women out there. Me, I'm, I'm speaking to you today. It's all about women empowerment. Yes. Because I wanted a woman to do this interview, but I'm like, I need to do it myself. Yes. I have so many young women watching me right now. Yes. If you should advise them, what message will you tell them? If the, the sky is the limit for them, uh -huh. but you have to take the opportunities. When this opportunity came up, because the organization I was working for tried to sell this property for two years with no takers. They were not getting good offers. I didn't sit back and think because I'm a woman, I can't do it. We discussed with my husband and we agreed we could do it. As long as you work hard, uh, you plan properly and you grab the opportunities when you get them, it's doable, okay? And don't be afraid to borrow because we borrowed heavily for this property and, um, and a lot of people I know are really scared of borrowing it's doable as long as you have a plan you have a good strategy uh, for us the market was there uh, when we bought the property it already had tenants mm. what we need we did we did was uh, improve on it mm. and we were able to double the revenue so the opportunities are there that's really impressive mm. but if you had the chance yes to change something yes in Africa what will it be oh I think leadership leadership makes a big difference if you have good leaders I'm sure you've gone around Africa you can tell the countries with good leaders you can see they are progressing the countries with not so good leaders are lagging behind I think leadership we need to take leadership seriously mm. we need as voters we need to be very clear who we are voting for because our leaders determine our trajectory i just want to say thank you so much but don't go away yeah. i mean this is by force you know anytime i say it's by force it's by force i'm here in nairobi and i just want to tell each and every one of you whenever you are in nairobi it's by force to spend a night in here but they don't know where the location is you have to tell us yes we are situated on Rough Bunch Road mm. in an area called Milimani. It's five minutes uh, drive to the city centre. Mm. You can walk. We have many customers, uh, many of our guests who stay here actually walk to the CBD if they have business to do there. 
Defense and we are, we are very near State House and uh, Department of Defense. So it's, uh, it's very easy to safe locate us right. and very safe. Yes. I want to say thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you, Wade. Thank you and you're most welcome. Thank you.